lost all their money and went broke. Michael Jackson. This celebrity needs no introduction. He is the king of pop and an icon for an entire generation and generations to come. He is none other than Michael Jackson. He was named the most lucrative celebrity for seven years in a row, which means that his name was making millions of dollars of profit every single year after his demise. But at the end of his life, Michael Jackson was absolutely broken strapped for cash. It all started in 1993 when he was accused of molesting a 13-year-old boy called Jordan Chandler. These accusations broke the king of pop in every way possible, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, and also financially and legally to pay off the Chandler family in a legal settlement. He took a $30 million loan and he also couldn't perform anymore because of his rapidly declining health. Nicholas Cage. We all know him for his tortured hero roles that he magnificently played for decades. Nicholas Cage is arguably one of the best male Hollywood actors of this and last century. Did you know that he went completely broke at a point in his career? He once said that during the course of his entire acting career he paid over $70 million in taxes, but that wasn't enough for the IRS. Because of a change in some legal issues, the IRS asked for an extra $14 million and that is when the troubles started. The all-time celebrity whose net worth was once $150 million was now struggling to pay a cool $14 million. The star liked to spend his money in a lavish way. He bought not one but two medieval castles in Europe. Countless sports cars, expensive watches, boats and many other properties all over the United States. Because of all that splurging Cage had to make at least $30 million a year to stay afloat and eventually went bankrupt. Kanye West He's a rapper, singer, producer, fashion designer and also an entrepreneur. He is worth a whopping $1.3 billion. He's a very lucrative and diversified businessman. His fashion brand Yeezy brings in colossal amounts of money and he is the only owner of it. And there's also the fact that his shows bring in $100,000 and that's at its minimum. Some of his shows produce unfathomable amounts of cash, so how come he officially said he's $53 million in personal debt? To explain that you need to look at his luxurious tastes and expenses which are grandiose and many. He has a million dollar collection of beds, he also owns a $200,000 an hour private jet. And the solid gold toilet that costs $750,000. There are some of his tastes that are extravagant and needs to be maintained. Brendan Fraser During the 90s, Brendan Fraser's face was absolutely everywhere. He could do it all, the lovable action hero, the goofy fish out of water, the main character in a drama. This handsome yet quirky actor was even nominated by the Chicago Film Association as the most promising young actor in 1993. One of the biggest summer blockbusters of all times, the movie The Mummy took his career sky high quickly. But suddenly he just fell off the face of the earth, he wasn't getting cast anymore anywhere. If you look closely, he has worked in many movies that were a complete flop and every flop would lose millions and millions of dollars. This everlasting rotation of a hit and a miss over and over won him the dissolution of producers all over Hollywood and that is how the face of an entire generation slowly fell to oblivion. Lauren Hill Lauren Hill was a member of the Fugees, which gave her worldwide fame and attention, but she also started a solo career releasing the album The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. That infused reggae and hip-hop and was certified eight times platinum and also won her five Grammy Awards. She was 
named the best new artist and that say a lot of accomplishments for any artist's first solo album. She even had Hollywood knocking on her door and she appeared in the iconic movie Charlie's Angels, but 20 years later, her fans are still waiting on her second album. There were rumors that she was the mistress of two high-profile men and also that she was controlled by a cult leader. The reality is that she didn't deal with fame and celebrity very well. Her image took a very big blow in the eyes of her fans. The family drama and turmoil exhausted her making her not want to be a public figure anymore. So she slowly backed down from fame and success and she became a stay-at-home mother to her son. Johnny Depp. He is the beloved Captain Jack Sparrow in the franchise The Pirates of the Caribbean and also Willy Wonka in the movie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He has had so many important roles during his acting career that at one point his net worth was an estimated $650 million. Did you know he almost lost all of it? He managed to spend $650 million. In January 2017, right after he divorced Amber Heard, he filed a high-class lawsuit against his former financial manager for fraud. Depp was asking for $25 million as a settlement. It all started when Depp noticed that his taxes weren't paid for 17 years resulting in him owing the IRS the staggering sum of $100 million.